With that, I'll turn the presentation over to Denise Bodart, who again is our Real Care Product Manager and Program Expert. Good afternoon and welcome to today's webinar. Today I'd like to briefly discuss the Total Parenting Experience, or TPE. TPE encompasses four major hands-on parenting experiences to help your students gain knowledge with infant care skills, parenting, and child abuse prevention. Each part of TPE comes with a comprehensive curriculum. And you can see from the four different um, parenting experience, hands-on type of um, products that we have on the screen in front of you, it goes all the way through from pregnancy, through in utero decision-making, through the reality of being a teen parent, all the way to child abuse prevention with the shaken baby. Now, if we take a look here, the curriculum includes lessons on a wide variety of topics, along with PowerPoints, assessments, and activities to support these lessons. Using the curriculum will make your program more effective. Now, the first part of the TPE experience is our pregnancy profile simulator. Participants will experience what it feels like in the third trimester of pregnancy with a weight gain of 25 to 30 pounds. There are 12 lessons included in this curriculum. The pregnancy profile can be used for prenatal education, parenting education, child development, and health occupations. We recommend, however, whenever possible, to have groups of students wear it at the same time. It fosters deeper discussion and a more meaningful experience. And this morning, we're gonna actually demonstrate putting the pregnancy profile simulator onto a model and showing you all of the different physical changes associated with pregnancy that it simulates. So at this time, we'll move over to our video mode and we'll point out all the parts and pieces to the pregnancy profile simulator. So the first part that we have today is it comes with a carrying case that fits all the parts and pieces into it. It also comes with a one-size-fits-most pregnancy profile t-shirt. We have what's called the rib constrictor belt. And you put this on underneath the pr pregnancy profile vest. And you can see the two small balls that are embedded in it. And what this will do, it will simulate fetal limbs poking into your rib cage, but also when we um, put the rib constrictor belt on you, it will cinch up tight in the back, making it hard to draw a deep breath because in that third trimester of pregnancy, it does get more difficult for the mother to be to breathe. Another part that we have is called the water bladder. And you fill the water bladder with warm water, about three quarters full, and this will be zipped into the pouch of the pregnancy vest. And you fill it with warm water because it will simulate elevated body temperature, where again, many pregnant women will tell you that they feel warm, especially at the end of their pregnancy. And inside, there's also a free floating ball. When this is zipped into the pregnancy vest and you have it on, it simulates that fetal movement and you can feel it every time you move um, inside of the pregnant belly. We also have what's called the weight, the weight bag. And this also adds further weight to the pregnancy profile vest. And you zip this into the pouch inside the vest and it adds that 25 to 30 pounds of the total weight that the pregnant um, woman feels in that third trimester of pregnancy. And lastly, this is our pregnancy profile vest. And so you've got the weight bag that's zipped into the bottom. And today we are going to actually zip the water bladder into the belly of the pouch. And once it's zipped in, it will become like your pregnant belly in the third trimester of pregnancy. And you can zip it up from both sides so it fits snugly inside the pouch. And we're now ready to try it on our model. So the first thing we're going to do is put our rib constrictor belt on about rib cage level. So Janelle, I'll have you hold it up. And you'll want the two little balls in the front and you're gonna cinch it snugly so that it fits very closely. And then you're gonna put the one size fits most vest onto the shoulders. And you can notice that the shoulders are adjustable via Velcro. There are also three adjustable straps on the back. So you put it onto the shoulders. And then in the back, we are going to put three clips on snugly so that it holds that water bladder uh, tight and if you can feel the simulated fetal movement. All right, so we have the three straps on and at this time she would be ready to do the lessons on pregnancy. Thank you, Janelle. 
So some of the um, physical changes that, again, you will feel in uh, the pregnancy profile simulator are as follows. And we are going to go ahead and go out of video mode. And we're going to share our PowerPoint with you as we continue. So the, the, you'll again feel the changes in body image. You'll feel the body, the weight gain, 25 to 30 pounds, that elevated body temperature. And you'll feel a pregnant profile of enlarged belly and breasts. And you will have difficulty walking, bending over, sitting down, all those physical things because your uh, center of gravity will have changed dramatically. You'll be uh, increased fatigue. You'll start to get tired the longer you wear it. Uh, you'll feel pressure from those fetal limbs uh, found in that rib constrictor belt. Again, the shortness of breath. The weight bag will also um, sit kind of over your bladder or the bladder of the wearer, and you'll feel pressure, making you feel like you may have to go to the bathroom more often. And again, you'll have those fetal kicking movements from the ball in the um, weight bag. And all of that together will simulate that third trimester of pregnancy, that being the pregnancy profile simulator. Now, moving on to the next step in the total parenting experience, you'll have the fetal alcohol syndrome mannequin. And this is designed to show the physical effects of drinking while pregnant. So the package comes with a mannequin wearing a cloth diaper. It includes a curriculum and also a DVD called an ounce of prevention. Their curriculum is a one hour lesson, uh, including facilitator instructions. You've got slide presentations, uh, standards alignments, and of course, um, some additional resources on fetal alcohol syndrome. Now we're gonna actually show you the mannequin today. We're gonna to talk about some of the physical effects that you're gonna see in the mannequin. And this is the fetal alcohol syndrome baby. You will see it's a smaller in size. It's about 33% of the normal um, weight of a newborn. It's got slower physical growth. It's got smaller head. The eye openings are wider set. You'll see eye folds, the inner corners of the eyes are different, a low nasal bridge, ears that are somewhat abnormal and lower. You'll have a short nose, an abnormally small chin, a potentially flattened mid face. You've got ridges between the nose and the mouth that's indistinct and flat. You've got curved joints, sometimes webbed fingers. So there's a lot of physical effects that can happen with fetal alcohol syndrome. And I'll go back to our PowerPoint now and share some additional information with you. This um, product can be used for substance abuse prevention, prenatal education, child development, and health occupations courses. The next part of in utero decision making is our drug affected baby. And the drug affected baby is designed to show the physical effects of doing drugs while pregnant. The package comes with a demonstrator, which includes four AA batteries, and it's wearing a cloth diaper. It includes a receiving blanket and the curriculum. The curriculum for this product includes a one hour lesson, facilitator instructions, slide presentations, the standard alignments, and again, some additional resources um, and supplemental activities. Now, as we look closer at the drug affected baby today, you'll notice a few things. First of all, we're going to show the physical effects that can happen if you make poor decisions in utero taking drugs. For example, you'll see that this baby has a painful facial expression. It has unusually uh, small or thin arms and legs, and it's also about 33% smaller than a healthy baby at the same age. Now, when we turn this baby on to do a demonstration for your class, you're going to notice a few things. First of all, you're gonna notice that high-pitched cry and that cry that cannot be soothed and it doesn't stop. And that's the cry of a real crack addicted baby. And that's also a very hard thing for um, participants, students to hear when you pass it around the class. Now also when you turn it on, you'll notice that this baby vibrates. It's shaking. The reason this baby shakes is because it was born and it's going through withdrawal. It's addicted to drugs. And during your demonstration, you would turn this on. Your students would hear that, that cry that cannot be soothed. It goes on and on. That distressed cry, the baby's in pain. You can see that painful facial expression. It's clenched fists. It's small body size. And then you'll feel that, 
that tremor. And that shows again, the addictive um, properties that the baby is born with. And this is one of the most powerful demonstrators you will use in your classroom to show the effects, the potential effects of drug addiction or drug use while pregnant. So we're gonna go back to our PowerPoint and I'm gonna share some additional information about this powerful tool. First of all, again, you've got that, all of the physical effects that I just pointed out. Um, the lesson will also stress that it, um, this is not something that can be cure, cured, but it is totally pre preventable, 100%. Uh, the lesson talks about that, and it also talks about the, the lifelong impact that this can have on the infant as it grows up. And the PowerPoint pre presentation is ready to use, along with um, some questions and answers that you can use to foster discussion during the demonstration. And all of the curricula that we talked about today come with a pre and post test that you can use to gain, um, gain measurement of knowledge over the, um, the lifetime of the lesson or the curriculum. So you can have measurable results to share and to prove that um, students have learned the content that you've been teaching. The next part of our total parenting experience that we would like to demonstrate for you today is the shaken baby demonstrator or the shaken baby syndrome simulator. Now this product comes with a t-shirt and a cloth diaper. It includes four C batteries. It has a battery cover key. It will come with a short video called When Babies Cry. This is from the National Shaken Baby Alliance. And then the curriculum includes um, a one hour lesson on the signs and symptoms of shaken baby. But the most important um, part of the lesson is the preventative aspect. How do you prevent shaken baby from occurring in the first place? And again, this curriculum comes with a slide presentation, um, standard alignments, and other um, helpful links to additional shaken baby resources available. Now, the shaken baby lesson comes with that pledge not to shake. That's one of the most important parts of the lesson. The students will put together their own plan to manage frustration. What do they do if they're ever in the situation where they're with a crying infant that cannot be soothed? Part of the lesson is learning these coping mechanisms, and then they commit in writing to create their own plan of action of what they would do. And then at the end of the lesson, they do, uh, they do um, sign this pledge not to shake a baby. So um, you'll teach the lesson, they'll learn the preventative um, things for soothing a baby, and they'll commit that, to, that plan to writing. They'll uh, sign that pledge, and then you will do the simulation, which um, really uh, is, is very, um, impactful and I'm going to demonstrate that um, shaken baby for you right now. So we'll go ahead and we'll go over to video mode and we'll uh, go live with the baby. Here we go. So when you first take a look at the shaken baby simulator you will notice a few things. First of all it has a clear head and on the head there are there are pictures and the pictures indicate the areas of the brain that are, in, that are impacted by the shaking. And as you shake the baby, the lights, different lights will light up the areas of the brain as they're impacted. So it'll be, you know, a occipital lobe, this lobe, the side lobes, and each part as it lights up. The pictures, again, are a great reminder to you as the instructor of what is being impacted. So you've got sight, you've got memory and emotion, and you've got motor skills left and right. So the first step of this is always on the back of the baby. There is a button that's an on-off switch. So you'll uh, turn it on. The first thing you'll notice that the lights will circle. That means that it's calibrating. And then it will start to cry. And when you demonstrate, you would say, will you stop crying? Will you stop crying? And when you do the shaking, you'll notice that the lights, if done correctly, will go on in succession. The occipital lobe, the frontal lobe, and then the side lobes. And when the baby goes completely silent, that means it's severely brain damaged or may have died. So before you use this with a class for a demonstration, we actually recommend that you practice the technique. And it sounds counterintuitive to want to do that, but you want to make sure that, that you use the demonstrator in the most impactful way, which is to have those colored lights go on in succession rather than shaking it and having them go on all at once. And there is a short video on a product support website that shows the shaking technique and shows the lights going on in, in succession. In a perfect world, that's what you would be striving for in your demonstration. This is not a product that you would put in your students' hands like the other demonstrators. Rather, this is one for the instructor to use as an impactful tool of what not to do to an infant 
to prevent permanent damage or perhaps even death to an infant. At this time, we'll move on to the next part of our um, total parenting experience. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a closer look at real care baby. And we'll move over to the slide presentation for that. So our Real Care Baby 3 is the current model that we sell. And Real Care Baby 3 is much more than just an infant simulator. And you have a means of, of assessment, uh, reporting and grading. You have a complete curriculum. In fact, you have multiple curricula that you have um, available to you. And you have all the supplies necessary to operate the baby. But first, we're going to take a closer look at Real Care Baby 3. Now, Real Care Baby 3 weighs about six and a half to seven pounds and is about 21 to 22 inches long. These are anatomically correct, they're male and female, and they come in seven different skin tones. Now they have lifelike head and neck support or lifelike head and neck movements, so the head will need to be supported at all times when the baby's turned on. And the first time out of the box, you might even smell um, baby smelling a little bit like baby powder. Uh, Real Care Baby 3 has built-in rechargeable batteries that can communicate directly to your computer via a wireless radio frequency. Real Care Baby 3 communication is not affected by cell phones or satellite TV. And of course, there's no latex in baby or any of the accessories. So the, the babies when you order them will come dressed in a two-piece outfit, pink for female and blue for male. In addition, baby comes with a starter wardrobe, including a sleeper and a bodysuit. And each of these clothing items has sensors sewn into them because Real Care Baby 3 tracks this information in its computer and reports it at the end of the simulation experience. You'll also have received one bottle with a um, bottle cap that comes off. And at the nipple end of the bottle, it contains a magnetic sensor that is detected by baby's feeding sensor during a feeding event. You will also have received two diapers. One would have been on the baby and one would have come loose in the box. And you'll notice that one has a green patch and one has a yellow patch. You will need both of these colored diapers to make baby work uh, correctly during a simulation because its computer detects the difference and that's how it knows if a diaper change has occurred. Um, diapers don't have magnets in but they also um, have a, a chip like the clothing that operates on a wireless radio chip. Um, the diapers can be laundered. We recommend line drying and not using bleach because you don't want to change the color of that patch. Your baby also will come with an ID which is the round gray disc. On each one, there is a unique series of numbers and letters. And this becomes important when you're going to use the software because you're going to um, code that ID to a specific baby to a specific student. And that's what holds them accountable for the care of that baby. Um, IDs um, function on a wireless radio frequency and are, they can get wet, that is fine. They are threaded onto that consumable orange wristband that you will put onto the student's wrist. And again, that holds them accountable during that entire simulation and then you cut it off again at the end. We also have a free um, Real Care Baby Guide app available on iTunes and Android stores that students can download for free if they just search for Real Care Baby Guide app and they can delete it again when they're done with the simulation. Or we also have a free downloadable participant care card that's available via a link that you're provided during your purchase. And you can print the same type of information out and send it home with students. Um, whether it be the care card or the um, baby guide app, there are in, there's information on all four care events, uh, safety instructions and helpful tips that get them through the um, simulation a little bit more smoothly. Other um, options that can come with your baby include the accessory bundle, which is the diaper bag, the blanket and the car seat. Now, you can, if you order car seats through us, it comes with a detection kit and Real Care Baby 3 now detects time in the car seat and reports on that. If you have car seats of your own, however, that you already use, those car seat detection kits may be purchased separately and used with um, any Real Care Baby 3s that you may have purchased as well. Um, you will need the Real Care Program Starter Kit in order to manage your program. And this will include online access to your control center software. Um, you do receive an XSTIC wireless communication adapter that looks kind of like a flash drive, it's green, but it's the communication device that sends all the commands from your software to the baby's computer. You will also receive access to four separate curricula that you can use for your real care program. You will receive access to a participant care video, which is a helpful nine minute video that you can show prior to sending baby home with students. And it shows other students caring for baby will make your students very comfortable with what they'll be having to do. 
um, you, will, you will receive a charging mechanism, either a single charger or typically a five baby charger if you've purchased more. Uh, usually a six to eight hour charge or an overnight charge is sufficient for five to seven days. And you will also receive an instructor kit that will open up the back of your baby and give you access to rechargeable batteries if you need to change those or also your serial number information if you are on a phone with tech support and would need to provide that. So let's take a little bit closer look at the back of your care baby and all the different things that it has. First of all, you'll notice the recessed um, button and that's an emergency stop button that can stop the stimulation if you're out in the field and you need to stop it um, because of an emergency. You've also got a series of three colored lights that at a glance you'll know um, red is the charging light and you'll know if it's fully charged or if it needs to be plugged in and, and charged if it's flashing red. The green light is the charging indicator which turns itself on green when you've got it plugged in, turns itself off when it's fully charged, and the yellow lights a uh, communication light that goes on solid when the computer is um, communicating with the baby's computer. And then also you've got um, the charging port where you plug the charger into the back of baby and you plug that charger into the wall. And last, you've got your battery compartment lock that you use the key to access the, that battery and serial number area. Um, Real Care Baby comes with an automatic simulation report that um, um, downloads after you bring the babies back into the room after a simulation and they show up in the folder that you um, tell it to when, when you are um, programming a simulation. So it's automatic, couldn't be easier. Um, it's a two page uh, simulation report for Real Care Baby 3. Page one is all of the care data. How did the student care for the baby during the simulation? It, it shows each of the four care events, rock, diaper change, burp, and feed, but also it will report on any mishandle events. So if there was a shaken baby event, a head support failure, wrong position, which means upside down or on its face, or rough handling, which means you know hitting or kicking it, it records that. There are, there are sensors in this baby that will record all the mishandle events, and there would be points taken off of that and then that would give you that performance overview percentage that's automatically generated on this report. But you get a lot more data than just that. You've got um, at the bottom of the report, time and date stamps of any mishandled events or any missed care events. So you can start to see patterns um, that the student is, is having that would be talking points. It also identifies the number of times each ID was used. And if you allowed for a babysitter ID, you would be able to see if the student used that um, had, an, had a babysitter or if they provided all the care themselves. Now page two of the report is known as the environmental care data page and the three new features of Real Care Baby 3 which are the temperature sensing, clothing detection, and car seat detection are all, are all reported on on page two. So the temperature sensor is graphing the temperature every 15 minutes during the simulation and the clothing um, sensors will uh, report any item of clothing, including the diapers that are on or off the baby at all times during the simulation. And finally, it will show every moment it's in or out of the car seat. And this becomes important because then you know, was the baby dressed appropriately for conditions? Was it kept in a safe temperature or environment during the simulation? Did they take that baby out of the car seat and interact with it? So thereby preventing um, flathead syndrome and also interacting with it like a real parent would or should. So all of that's just great data on that real care report. Now we spoke a little bit about the curricula. There are actually four that you have access to. Three are high school, one is middle school. The first one is basic infant care. And this would be a great one. If you have a program that is focused on childcare career skills, perhaps you have a childcare certification in your, in your school or organization that students can work toward. This is a really good one. Um, you use the babies um, hands-on in the lessons to teach all sorts of care and health and safety things. Now, Healthy Choices is the high school pregnancy prevention or sex education program um, that we recommend using this curriculum for. It has um, all sorts of lessons on things like healthy communication and dating, good, um, healthy relationships, effective communication, peer pressure. It's got a robust um, reproduction unit, including um, STDs, uh, abstinence, um, family planning and things of that sort. It also has pregnancy, prenatal development, and it ends with living the life of a teen parent. And the third one is parenting. This would be a more of an age zero to three curricula and is used in courses on parenting and child development. It has things, um, covers uh, nurturing and um, brain development, early literacy, the importance of uh, recreation and play, in development, it also has a lesson on parenting styles. So there's a lot of good information in that one as well. And then the final one is a middle school curricula called 
life skills and healthy choices for middle school students. This um, we recommend using in middle school health courses for sex education or pregnancy prevention as well. So let's take a closer look at the, the um, content of the three real care baby curricula for high school. Each one focuses on different topics, but you'll notice all three culminate with baby going home with participants for the simulation experience. Each lesson is designed the same way. There are three main sections. There's a focus section, which is the first five to 10 minutes of class capturing the student's attention, engaging them immediately. The learn section is about the middle 30 minutes or so, and it's the guts of the, the lesson teaching those key objectives. And this is followed by a five to 10 minute summary section at the very end, reviewing those key points. Sometimes you have uh, pop quizzes and assessment. There's many modalities that are used in all three sections. Um, most lessons are designed for 45 minute class, but you can um, pick and choose from among the different, all of the um, activities if you need to shorten it up or wish to supplement um, for a longer class period. Again, each one comes with assessments, including answer keys to make that a very easy part of the program. Um, the four things we recommend that you do with baby um, to um, get them ready to, for that simulation experience are showing that participant care video, again, that you have access to on the link when you purchase the program. It's about nine minutes. Um, we again, highly recommend the Real Care Baby Guide app that uh, your students can download. There's a readiness quiz, which is a short quiz in the curriculum that um, shows that students do understand how to do each of the four care events. And lastly, you put the baby in demonstration mode using the software and you can um, put the babies in your students' hands and they can practice all of those care events in a random mode. And that will give them great practice for what they can experience when they take that baby home. Now we have a few additional resources that I'd like to call your attention to, to help you be successful with your Real Care Baby 3 program. One is the RealityWorks blog, and if you go to realityworks.com backslash blog, you will see um, several years worth of archived blogs. Um, it's updated on a regular basis, including you know, lesson tips and um, hot topics relating to real care content from other baby users. It's just a great place to go to get a pulse on what's happening. Um, we also have a Facebook presence, and we have um, automatic updates um, on a regular basis on promotions and new products that are being launched. Again, it, it's uh, useful for other fax teachers to keep a pulse on what's happening in fax in general and also relating to the Real Care Baby program. Other things that we urge you to check out uh, can be found on our product support website. If you go to realityworks.com backslash support, you will find a wide variety of video tutorials on many topics. Um, you will also find uh, free webinars and archived recordings. And during the school year, we um, typically have free webinars monthly that you can sign up for, like the one today, and it will all be recorded and then um, on our, located on our website. And you can go back and watch any of those recordings um, at your leisure, and I think you'll find them very, very helpful. Another thing uh, you'll find is Control Center Software Help Guide, and this can be accessed both on our website and also through the Control Center software. So this is a very detailed 50 page help guide that will answer any question you might have as it pertains to the software. It's very user friendly, it includes many screenshots, and it's just a, a, great, a great guide. You may wish to print it out and just keep it in hard copy on your desk as a reference when you program. There are also sections of frequently asked questions on the website and also uh, additional written documentation that you can print out that's helpful when um, using many of the different products that Reality Works has. Um, at this time, I would like to open it up for any questions that you may have on any of the content or any of the products that we covered today um, regarding the total parenting experience. I'm not seeing any coming through right now. So if there are no questions, we will just conclude today's webinar and thank you for your time today. And we wish you much success when implementing the total parenting experience. Thank you.